Hey, apes fans and movie buffs. Welcome back to MX Hollywood Talks. Today, we're diving deep into the evolution of one of the most iconic sci-fi franchises, the Planet of the Apes. From intelligent apes rising to power to the dawn of a new era and an all-out war, we've got it all covered. So grab your popcorn and let's unravel the timeline before the much-anticipated release of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The film Rise of the Planet of the Apes was released in 2011. Will Rodman, a pharmaceutical chemist, tests a viral-based drug called ALZ-112 on chimpanzees to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. The drug greatly increases the intelligence of a chimpanzee named Bright Eyes, but she goes on a rampage and is killed. Will discovers that Bright Eyes had recently given birth and decides to take in her infant Caesar. As Caesar grows, he becomes highly intelligent and can communicate through sign language. Will raises Caesar and introduces him to the Redwood Forest, where he can roam freely. Five years later, Caesar questions his origins and place in the world. When his adoptive grandfather, Charles, becomes ill, Caesar defends him against an aggressive neighbor, Douglas Hunsaker, and is taken to an ape shelter. There, Caesar befriends Maurice, a former circus orangutan, and learns to unlock his cage. He eventually becomes the alpha of the shelter and leads a rebellion against the cruel caretakers. Meanwhile, Will's boss, Stephen Jacobs, develops a more powerful version of the drug, ALZ-113, which can improve intelligence. However, the drug has deadly consequences, and Will quits his job in protest. Caesar steals the drug and enhances the intelligence of the other apes in the shelter, leading to a massive escape and a battle against the police on the Golden Gate Bridge. The apes eventually make their way to the Redwood Forest, where they start a new life. The movie ends with Will warning Caesar that humans will hunt them, but Caesar decides to stay in the forest. As the apes settle into their new home, Hunsaker, who was infected with ALZ-113, spreads the virus around the world, leading to a deadly pandemic. The film Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was released in 2014. Ten years after the simian flu pandemic, human civilization has collapsed, and only one in 500 people are genetically immune. A group of intelligent apes, led by Caesar, has established a colony in Muir Woods National Monument near San Francisco. A group of humans, led by Malcolm, enters the apes' territory in search of a hydroelectric dam to restore power to their community in San Francisco. As the humans and apes work together, they begin to form bonds. However, Koba, a former laboratory test subject who hates humans, discovers the human armory and plots against Caesar. Koba sets fire to the ape colony, kills Caesar's son, and frames the humans for the attack. He then leads the ape army in a full-scale assault on the humans, taking heavy casualties and imprisoning many humans. Meanwhile, Malcolm's family finds a wounded Caesar and helps him recover. Caesar's son, Blue Eyes, reunites with his father and helps him retake command of the apes. Caesar confronts Koba, who is killed in the ensuing battle. As the human military approaches, Caesar warns Malcolm of the impending war and persuades him to evacuate his family to safety. The movie sets the stage for the eventual war between humans and apes, exploring themes of trust, loyalty, and the consequences of playing with nature. The film features stunning visual effects, intense action sequences, and strong performances. Additionally, the movie explores the complexities of Caesar's leadership and the moral dilemmas he faces as he tries to protect his people. The film also delves into the backstory of Koba, who was subjected to cruel experiments and torture in a laboratory, leading to his deep-seated hatred of humans. The film War for the Planet of the Apes was released in 2017. After a battle in San Francisco, Caesar's ape colony is hunted by the human militia, led by the colonel. Caesar's son, Blue Eyes, is killed, and Caesar's group discovers a safer home, an oasis. Along the way, they meet a mute girl, Nova, and another intelligent ape, Bad Ape. Caesar is captured and tortured by the colonel, who reveals that the simian flu has mutated, causing infected humans to become primitive. Caesar escapes, but is fatally shot while trying to destroy a fuel tank. As the apes flee, Caesar blows up the tank, causing an avalanche that buries the facility and military. Caesar dies, but the apes, including Nova, reach the oasis, where they can finally find peace. 
The movie follows Caesar's journey as he grapples with the consequences of his actions and the weight of his responsibilities as a leader, all while facing the threat of the human militia and the mutated simian flu. The apes are forced to fight for their survival and freedom, and Caesar must make difficult decisions to ensure the future of his colony. Ultimately, the apes emerge victorious, but not without great cost, and Caesar's sacrifice will be remembered for generations to come. The film explores themes of leadership, sacrifice, and the blurred lines between humans and apes. The film Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, 2024, the new era is a notable addition to the franchise. Fast forward 300 years after Caesar's legendary war, and we find ourselves in a world reborn. In Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, we're introduced to Noah, a young chimp with the weight of the future on his shoulders. Alongside May, a human woman with her own agenda, Noah's journey is one of discovery, conflict, and the choices that will shape the world for apes and humans alike. The expectations for Kingdom are high, especially with a new cast featuring Owen Teague as Noah and Freya Allen as May. This installment promises to be a bold new chapter in the Apes saga. Directed by Wes Ball, this film promises to push the boundaries of what we've come to expect from this storied franchise. The stakes are higher, the drama more intense, and the message more profound as we explore uncharted territories of the Apes saga. And there you have it, folks the epic tale of the Planet of the Apes. As we eagerly await Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, let's reflect on the powerful messages these films have conveyed about society, humanity, and the animal within us all. If you enjoyed this recap and are excited for the next installment, hit that like button, subscribe to MX Hollywood Talks, and ring the bell for more movie magic.